Hello and thanks again for joining me for another Starfield shipbuilding video where today we're going to be building this little beastie here which uh, comes as a request or rather a challenge from uh, one of my viewers Mike so this one's for you um, so basically there was a a bit of a thing about people turning the uh, the razor leaf into a Kenworth and a Kenworth for those of you that, that don't know is a large truck so um, Mike has requested a class C fighter ship a very small size and uh, has given a list of parameters and I'll show you those in a moment so this is the the ship that I come up with okay so I'll take a quick look here this is what I've come up with it's quite tiny and uh, one of the main points was that it needed to be able to fit on the small outpost landing pad which it does and uh, this is uh, this is not a built up outpost this is just one I plonked down just specifically for this video but uh, anyway uh, here is the list of parameters that were given out so I'll just leave that up on screen for a moment and I'll go back and I will load up my previous save to before I started building this and I will rebuild it again from scratch taking you step by step through the process now let's see here I will be uh, I'll be using a Crimson Fleet White which I captured just from doing bounty missions and that comes with a whole bunch of parts but this is a list of parts that will be keeping off of that now sometimes when you save and reload sometimes the ship gets renamed into a uc navy a cargo um, but anyway they're the pieces that uh, we'll be keeping off of that particularly the bridge um which doesn't unlock until level 34 if I wanted to buy that so uh, just keeping in mind here that uh, there's only a level 23 character and uh, I am I'm trying to focus on doing uh, lower level builds now we do have a rank 4 in starship design and a rank 4 in piloting but that alone is not enough to all of the ship parts available to you as a lot of those are actually locked behind your actual level and uh, I'd need level 37 to get hold of the bridge that uh, that comes on the white um, so anyway uh, let's have a look here these are the parts that we're going to be getting here so we're currently at New Atlantis and uh, everyone should know how to get here it's the uh, the first major city that you're going to come to at the start of the game so we're just going to talk to this guy now you don't have to do this at New Atlantis anywhere that sells Deimos parts will be fine so we'll speak to this guy all right so this is the white And uh, we'll go into the ship builder. Now I'm just holding down my right mouse button. If you wanted to know how I'm changing the angle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little cap here. And I'm going to delete that. I'm going to hit G over here. Go across to structural. And we're going to put in this Deimos tail. Okay, the tail A. I'm going to come over here to this uh, EMP 1000 suppressor. I'm going to hold my mouse, just hover over that 
hold down control and hit G, that'll produce a second one of those. And press R a couple of times, bring that up, and I'll just slap that on the side of there. Then I'm going to pull this one off and pop that on the other side. Like so. All right. Now, this rail gun here. And bring across here and press R a few times, bring it up and pop it on the top of the bridge there. I'm going to hover over that. Control G. Produce another one. I'll we'll pop that there. Now this bridge, if you have a look, this bridge has six crew stations. And uh, that's, that's why I wanted to use this bridge. So I'm going to grab this laser here and I'm going to pop that down on the equipment plate that I just took... Uh, that gun off and this one on the other one over here all right now we're gonna flip upside down any one of these habs doesn't matter we're gonna be moving it soon on the bottom of that I'm gonna go to the dockers and we're gonna put this uh, slim docker on there it does say top but once you put it on it'll uh, it'll become a bottom one yeah, we can only have one docker at a time on a ship, so we need to delete that one. There we go. So, we are done for New Atlantis. Let me just double check. So, we've got uh, two of each of our weapons. All right. Yep, that's all we want from here. So, exit out of here. Accept that. Exit out, and so now we're going to be going to Neon, which is over here in the Vol 2 system. Okay, so straight over here, over here. Now, we want Stroud pieces and we want Tio pieces. There are showrooms for each of those in the core. However, we don't need their specialty parts. We're just after the common parts of both brands. So we're just going to go to the Neon landing pad. That's going to have both of those brands. Along with a few other bits and pieces, such as uh, Slayton and uh, Dogstar. So... Anyway, here's the uh, here's the list that we're going to be getting at Neon. I picked up something. See that and here we are. So there's the gate that leads in. We'll just land here, and there's this little little building over to the side here. Speak to this engineer, or technician, and this is where we're going to be doing most of our build. So we're going to the shipbuilder. Give you a bit of a top-down view here. First thing I'm going to do is grab the bridge. I'm going to drag that over here. I'm going to grab companionway out of there. I'm going to pop that underneath. Make sure it snaps on the bottom there. All right. We're going to grab that slim docker that we just put on. And we're going to pop that on the bottom there. sure that snaps under there okay now the front here we're going to grab this landing bay I'm going to pull that out and we're going to snap that onto the front we need to raise it up a bit get it to snap onto the front of the companionway there okay on the side here I'm going to go across the structural we want this Stroud Cap A, but we want the bottom version, so we're going to hit Z or Z to flip it. Pop that in place. Now we're going to grab uh, this laser that's on a on an equipment plate. If we grab the equipment plate, that's going to grab both the equipment plate and the laser, and we're going to pop that there. Spin around here, over here. We're going to go to the gear. And we're going to put this Actualander 11 landing gear. Pop that there. 
Now, if you wanted to, we could use this Tayo one, but uh, it does have slightly different shape to it. It doesn't quite doesn't match up with the uh, with that cap as well. We'll put that over here for now. Um, let's see. Pop it on there for the time being. We uh, we will get rid of that later on, but we'll need it temporarily to get to our final destination after we've finished here. Um, okay. So let's spin around here again. And under the bottom here, there's one on the other side too, under there. We're just going to pull this Deimos belly out. And we're going to pop that on the end there. We're going to grab this equipment plate with the laser on it. And we're going to pop that there. That is temporary. We'll move that later on. Now over here, we are going to go into the reactors. Down the bottom here, we want this Fuser DC-401. So we're going to pop that there, but we wouldn't need to raise that up, so press R. Okay, on here, we're going to go to the engines. And we're going to put the SAE 55110. And we're going to pop another one. So there's our twin engines. All right. Over here, we're going to go into the grab drives and we're just going to grab the, the R4000, pop that there. I'm going to come across here and I'm going to grab this engine strut and pop that there. On the side here, I'm going to go into structural. And we're going to come down here. We're going to grab one of these side caps. Pop that on there. I'm going to control, hold control and hit G. Grab another one of them. Flip it around with Z, and I'm just going to pop it on the side of the uh, on the side of the reactor there, like that. And over here, I'm going to hit G again. I'm going to go across to the fuel tanks this time. And we want this one here, the M50 Ulysses helium tank. Pop that on there. Okay. Over here, we've got a little Nova thruster array port. Well, port is the side of it. Port or starboard. It's a thruster array. I'm going to pop that on there and then we want to grab our tail and we're going to raise that up pop it on top of the engines there like that okay so that is pretty much all we want off of this so I'm just going to grab somewhere on there and double click it. I'm just going to hit delete. Delete that piece. And uh, all right. we need a shield. So on there we're going to hit G and we're going to go across to shields. And we want this one here, the Assurance SG-1000. Pop that down there. And now we are done for Neon. So we're going to exit out of here. Accept that. Exit out of there. Exit out of there. And now we're going to be heading to Hope Town. And Hope Town is up here. So if you're looking for Narian. If you hover over Narian, you'll see. Click on that and you'll get the option to go to Barlow. 
this is where you want to go and then you want to come over here to Polvo and then you can find Hope Town here so we're going to cruise across there and uh, these are the final pieces that we're going to be getting from there to finish off the build so once we land in there all right so we'll land here come across here and speak to this guy you and modify my ships okay so into the ship builder now we can get rid of this don't need that anymore up here i'm gonna hit g there and i'm gonna go to structural i'm gonna find this big chunky radiator pop that on there on the front of that we are going to grab this nose b pop that there all right, now over here, this bit get a little tricky. So we're going to go to the gear. And I want this one here. Now, if we press Z or Z, that'll flip it to the other one. But you'll notice, like we want to put it in here. And it's not going to, it doesn't want to fit anywhere in there. That's because it sort of clashes with the uh, clashes with the, the bottom of the, the bridge there. So what we can do, and I believe they call this the uh, the flip glitch. Okay, but we can hold it out here and flip it. You flip again, and it'll sort of flip into place. Might take you a couple of goes to get used to the sort of positioning but eventually it'll go in all right so now we want another one of those but this time we want the the midsection this one so grab that i'll do the same thing to get that in there sometimes it doesn't want to go so just try it again there we go all right Gonna hold control and hit G to grab another one of those. Now this one will fit in quite nicely, but uh, I actually want the aft version, and the aft version won't fit in. That's fine. We'll go back to the midsection, pop that in there. Once it's in there, I'm gonna hover over it. I'm gonna hit space, and I'm gonna go through my arrows again, and I'm gonna get the aft version and. Now yeah, it's in there. Okay. So, around here, we are going to grab that laser off of there. Just the laser. We don't need the, the plate. Pop that on the front there. Now we can delete that equipment plate off of there. Hit G on here. Go back to structural. And we're going to grab these pipes. Now that's the four version. We hit Z, we'll get the aft version. Pop that on there. And we are pretty much done with the build. Now, obviously, you want to choose weapons that you like. I've just gone with the ones that this came stock with and just added a couple of extras. But uh, now we're going to give it a paint job, so we'll just double click and uh, hit J. And I think it'll go with like a dark grey colour too. We'll go like a blue. Not sure if I'll get this the same colours as what I originally had at the start of the video, but. Uh, Let's uh, see what I can find here. Maybe something like that. And usually like to put a bit of a bit of a gold colour, like a dark dark gold. That'll do. 
All right. What I might do here is I'll, if I hold control, click on the struts there, I'll click on the grab drive, or click on the pipes, I'll click on that thruster array. So those four pieces are highlighted and I'll hit J. And we'll go, we'll go the gold color for color one. So we'll make that a lot darker. Color two, we'll do the blue, maybe the gray. Color three, the blue. The gray. Where the blue? That'll do. Accept that. Okay. There we go. So, we're going to flight check. We can go to rename ship. Got to click on rename or hit G. And I'm going to call this Mini Mini Kenworth. And you got to hit confirm twice. Okay. Accept that. So, let's have a look here. Now, um, if we bring up the parameters. So, we needed C-Class, 100 mobility, twin engines, no turrets, fixed guns only, 6 crew capacity, maximum length of 28 metres, maximum width of 12 metres, some aesthetical features, and able to land on a small outpost landing pad so uh, all right so as far as the uh, 28 meters in length we've got 19 the uh, yeah it's kind of off center here so let's sort of double click here center it up we've got 11 meters wide so we're within the 12 there. Exit out of that. And let's have a look. We've got our six crew. Uh, we needed 100 mobility, which okay, will show us that here in the ship builder. 100 mobility. Um, no turrets. It's just got fixed. Fixed weapons. We have some aesthetical piece, pieces. It is a C class. And I think that was pretty much all the uh, all of the parameters that I needed. We do have a 30 jump range on it. Now that is a uh, let's see. It's the grab drive. Is it 27 grab drive? Um, it might give you 30 being such a small ship, but uh, I do, do have the uh, max payloads and max astrodynamics, which uh, definitely bring mine up and also brings up that uh, 360 cargo. We uh, exit out of here. Up to the 540 that's that's why it's showing 540 there because of my payloads um the 250 fuel which uh that'll get me anywhere with um with the max the max astrodynamics uh let me see what else so i mean obviously the the six crew was was a parameter uh, that shield number is way out of whack. I do have level 3 of shields, but I don't think it should be that high, should it? I mean, it's 730 plus another 60%. My math is pretty terrible, but... Uh, yeah, I think that's something... One of the, the uh, nerfs that they're going to be doing in a future update. 
Anyway, there is the Mini Kensworth. So, we'll exit out of there. Exit out of there. And we will go land it on our landing pad. Which is up here in Narion. Over here. Cruise on over to there. So, uh, like I said, I I'm sticking to the uh, to the low level kind of builds. There it is. But uh, definitely leave me any comments down below. So here's our, it's our little ship on the landing pad. Let's have a quick look inside. Bit of a tour. It's this vastly spacious interior. Don't expect any mod cons. There's no uh, no bathrooms or beds or kitchens in this one. Have a lot of room in the cockpit though. With our one, two, three, four, five, six seats for the crew. Plus our own our own seat. And up the back here. Got our captain's locker and of course our cargo. So there we go. So uh, that one's from Mike. Pretty sure I got all the parameters that you asked for. So uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.